developed world and into this kind of business is the unusually permissive atmosphere and the interest in ideas. But their work isn't all desk work, as shown by this experiment on the attention span needed for safe driving. The experimenter is a branch director, psychologist John Sanders. Driving along the section of Route 128, and I'm trying to get an estimate of the demand driver by this particular section of road. The speed of the car is constant, and as the road varies from moment to moment in the demand that it makes upon me, I must look more often or less often as the case may be. The visor completely occludes my view during the period that it's down, and I must rely on some stored image or memory of what the road was before the visor went down. The half second look that I have is enough to restore all the information that I should need in order to drive down the road. The records that we get of the time between looks at the road give us a direct measure of the difficulty presented to the driver by the road from moment to moment as we drive down it. The shorter the interval between looks, the more difficult that segment of road is to drive. On those periods, as you saw, where the interval was very long, the road was indeed easy. The interval then gives us a direct and quantitative measure of this rather elusive thing called difficulty.